All right, one of the most commonly missed problems with neck pain and headaches is a, the shoulder blade. It's actually in the wrong position. It's depressed or too low, causing problems, and we're gonna explain it in detail. Yeah, we have a test to see if it's a culprit. That's right, and you can do it at home after some practice. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, so for the test to find out if indeed the neck and uh, headache pain is from the shoulder blade, it takes two people. Bob is going to be the patient. The patient. I, I'm going to be the one doing the test. Uh, so uh, what Bob is going to do is sit, and he's you know sitting on a stool. This works out well. Um, and he needs to sit with reasonably good posture and just relax everything as far as the shoulder blade muscles and everything in the upper extremities, shoulders, relax. Do. Yep. So this is called the armpit test. Uh, and you'll see why in just a second. Um, first, check the neck. Yep. So what Bob is going to do is he's going to, I'm going to ask him to rotate to the left, to the right, okay, and see if that produces any of his neck or headache pain. Ow. Right there, okay. Now I want you to look up towards the ceiling and then down towards Ow. the floor. Ow. Uh, so it hurts when you go back yep. and it hurts when you rotate to the right or to the left? To the right. Okay, so we're gonna make a mental note of that. What levels of pain when you do that? Um, I say five. Okay, so uh, 10. 10's the highest, so five. So it's not extreme pain, but it's definitely there and it happens with those motions. So that's the pretest. Now, Bob, you want to turn this way, the, your whole body 90 degrees? I, I think it'll look better from... This way? Yeah, about right there. Yeah. Is that okay? Now, this is why it's called the armpit test, which is very explanatory. I need to get my hands underneath and into the armpits. Luck you. Yeah, so Bob, the patient needs to relax and feel comfortable with this. Otherwise, it, it's going to be hard to get a good test. And I'm going to lift, so it takes a little strength here. And I got to make sure, Bob, just relax. There. Now, I can feel he's, he's got relaxed shoulder girdles. His, everything is relaxed. Okay. And then I'm going to hold it up. Stay relaxed, Bob. Take a deep breath. There you go. Arms are relaxed like jello. Now, rotate your head to the right. Oh, feels better. Okay. Now, look up. Now, last time that hurt. Again, it feels better. So, things are feeling better. Maybe two. At a two, okay. Now I'm gonna explain why this changed a little bit. So there's musculature holding the shoulder blade up. The upper trap is one of the big mu muscles that comes up and it's attached to the spine. The, the Vader scapula, I like to call That's it- That's a big culprit. Yep. It's not a big muscle though, but it causes pain. It attaches to this scapula here, and it's a narrow muscle, but it's, and it's thin, it's about an inch wide or so, and actually connects up to the skull. Yeah. Right. The skull pan, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we don't, that's, that, that's my slang term. So anyways, when I pull up, those muscles go on slack, we do the motion again, and that changes, and it, it indicates that one of those muscles or a muscle holding the shoulder blade up is being stretched and pulled and causing the pain because when we put on slack, things get better. So that's what we need to address. We're going to show you three options to get those muscles to relax and elevate the shoulder, get rid of that pain quickly. I concur. And Bob concurs. Yes. And if that happens, <laughs> you know we're on the right track. So let's hold on for a second. All right, one solution is, uh, particularly if you work at a computer or workstation a in a seated position and you have armrests, what we need to do is this, the weight of the arm is, sit up. <laughs> oh, it's not pulling you that hard. <laughs> the weight of the arm is stretching these muscles, pulling those muscles that create pain, so we want to elevate. So simply have the armrest. And if you don't have, you know, some chairs do armrests, do elevate, go up and down, but oftentimes they don't. Use a pillow like this to support the weight of the arm, taking the stress off of these muscles that are creating the pain, those tight muscles, and that pain will drop down just like when I do the armpit test. Well, if this is high enough. Ah, uh. if that doesn't work now, there's a couple options. Or if you have like this is a uh, set chair <laughs> armrest, it's not going to move. Take a regular pillow, fold it in half, squeeze it in there, and it actually that works really raises up. quite nicely. And, uh, you know, 
it can be a temporary thing until you get a chair that has elevating armrests because so they're took, not cheap. I took a peach choice and cut it. Yeah, it, you don't have to have a peach choice. Any kind of foam that when you cut it doesn't fall apart. And then use some duct tape, right? Of course. Yeah, got to use some duct tape. Red Green would be proud of us. Uh, so anyways, you cut it there, tape it on there, and there you go. You have your nice armrest, and you'll be very happy. Life is good after that. Yep. Make sure you do it on both sides. Okay, the second approach is a little different. We're actually going to stretch some muscles to allow the shoulder blade to come up and take the pressure off the neck and the, and the headaches. Uh, and so the, the lat muscles are one of the big muscles. And you take either a stick like this. A we got a stick. booyah stick works well. Or a swiffer. Swiffer, a mop, or any kind of a handle, piece of a PVC pipe or wood doweling. You find it works best, yep. Brad, to point the hand out. Yep. So he's saying, look at the back of your hand and then grab the stick. This is a little short for me. It's not going to work so well. I can put this up here. Oh, look at that. It's going to work good. Hand out and try. Oh, yeah. And then go up as high as you can so you feel the stretch right here. And then the nice, what happens is if you lean to the right side, if I'm on my right arm, you'll feel that Do stretch. Do it throughout the day. Yep. So you're going to hang out like that for 15 to 30 seconds. Relax, breathe, just let things stretch out. You should feel no sharp pain. It should feel like a good stretch right in here. And uh, do that throughout the day, every couple hours. Give it a stretch for 15 to 30 seconds. You'll and, love it. Yeah, you know, you, if you got one of these, you <laughs> can do a little floor maintenance, clean the floor, there everyone will be happy. Okay, we're gonna go on to number three. Okay, now the third approach is we wanna strengthen the upper traps here. So they're gonna pull that scapula up where it needs to be. And you just stand by the wall about a foot away, put your hand up on the wall and little friction on the wall, push up, 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 thinking about getting these muscles to contract. And Make then, the shoulder blade work. Pardon me? Make the shoulder yeah, blade work. Yeah, make the shoulder blade work. We want to get that motion in the shoulder blade. Some people have tight shoulder blades because they don't do this type of thing right. very often. So you're going to do 10 of those, 5 to 10. Yep, absolutely. Should, if you're doing it right, you'll feel this muscle up here fatigue, maybe burn a little bit. And this is something you can do two or three times per day, even it out. There you go. Good. Now, most of you aren't going to be as tall as Bob. He's <laughs> dang near putting a hole in the ceiling above there, but uh, so this should work Doing out my well. best. <laughs> all right, there you go. Those are the three options. You can do all three of them. Uh, should be, you may just find out if you put rests under your armrests on your computer chair. Life is going to be good. But you should do the other ones as well. Bob, do you have anything else to say about this situation? Well, I use it myself. So it worked. That's right. Yeah, when it, when it works on you, you're a believer. Uh, and they're simple, you know, things you can do at home, at work. Very good. Good, I mean, good luck. Yeah.